Hey QI members, this is Erin Fierro, a graduate student researcher in the Levy Lab Legion, bringing you another episode of TLDR. What up? Okay, let's get to the news. Our public lecture by Scott Aronson last week was a perfect finale to the PQI 2020 seminar series. We would like to sincerely thank all of our speakers, participants, and audience members for their contributions and involvement this summer. If you missed Scott's public lecture or any other seminar this summer, all videos are available on YouTube, so be sure to check them out. Now that the public lecture is over, I guess Team TLDR won't have an excuse to stalk all of Scott's social media and offer weekly Scott facts anymore. What is this show even going to be about? I guess we still have some cool quantum news for you guys to fill the Scott Aronson shaped hole in all of our hearts. So let's get to it and start healing with some news. This week, the International Ultrafast Knowledge Coffee House is hosting Dr. Alfred Zong from UC Berkeley on Monday, August 31st. He will be giving a talk on phase competition and photo-induced order in a charge density wave family. In other news, Rija Jayan and her student Nathan Nakamura have made a breakthrough in understanding how microwaves affect materials chemistry. Unlike prior studies which suffered from the inability to monitor structural changes while microwaves were being applied, Jayan developed a novel tool for studying these dynamic, field-driven changes in local atomic structures as they occur. Using her custom-designed microwave reactor to observe synchrotron X-ray scattering, she is investigating how to use microwaves to engineer tailor-made ceramic materials that have new electronic, thermal, and mechanical properties. The results of Jayan's research were published in the Journal of Materials Chemistry A, and the paper was recognized as part of the 2020 Emerging Investigators issue. If you're looking for even more research-related news, check out Rong Chao Jin, Yanni Bornbakis, and Nathaniel Rosie's article in the Journal of Physical Chemistry Letters. Their work focuses on understanding the formation of face-centered cubic nanostructures at the atomic level. Their work highlights the importance of the heteroatom tracing strategy and reveals that with doping, electronic structure can be mainly correlated to specific positions in a nanocluster, rather than taking all atoms equally. The dimerization insight from this conversion may be applied to other known cases of chemical reactions. Check out all of the details in their paper linked below. Well, that's all for TLDR this week. Stay PQ engaged, everyone.